Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Velo Harmony. Uh, today I'm actually in my office and I decided to do a follow-up to the video I made about how to choose your bike frame size. Um, I've been working with Jose with his Imonda. He has some challenges with it. Some of you who've been keeping up, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, he sent me an email and said that his Imonda was using a different geometry than what he expected. I think it's called an H2 geometry or whatever. But I don't want to really focus on the Trek. So I decided to use one of the new popular frames that are out there because you, you guys who watched the bike ride that I posted for last Saturday... I mentioned that these bikes are getting $13,000, $15,000 in prices. And so I decided to do a mock-up where I was acting like I'm going to buy a Specialized Venge, which is the bike Sagan is currently using. And of course, his bike, Sagan's bike is a custom bike. So don't fall for that. He didn't get it off the shelf because I just got off the phone with Specialized, in, in fact, and they confirmed that they don't do customs for people. And so you're kind of stuck with what they showed up there. And so I want to walk through my issues, my pros and cons of what I like about their side or whatever. And, you know, my attitude is if I'm going to be spending 13 grand plus, you need to provide some better service than what is going on right now. So I'm going to walk you guys through it so that you see how important it is with the problems people have had or you may be having. We know for a fact Jose's having that problems. He said he, he will be probably selling that frame if he can't get it to fit him. But uh, you're spending money and these guys are telling you what you can buy with that money. And my attitude is, you know, no, I'm going to pass because that's just not kosher. So I'm going to walk you through. As usual, I will do pros and cons. So let's get started right here. What I did was I went to Specialized.com. I mean, basically, you can type it in and it'll just take you there. And this is what you're greeted with on the main page. Very well laid out. Bikes, men, women, yada, yada. So this is what they're pushing because, of course, the tour is going on. And it's called the S-Works Venge Sagan Collection. $13,350 for a bicycle. I can get two and a half motorcycles out of that kind of money and probably have change left depending on what kind of motorcycle I buy. So that's the first thing that hit me. And I said, like, okay, they're showing a 49 here. So I clicked on the arrow and I said, I ride preferably a 56. I could ride a 58, but my bikes right now are between 56. And even my Colnago is 57.5. I can fit a 56. So I, I clicked on 56 just to see how the site works. So you can enlarge in the picture by just moving your cursor. I have a mouse that has a scroll ball that's what you're seeing here so i'm gonna go down um i you can read this on your own you can go to specialize.com i want to keep this short and i want to get to the point i scrolled down i didn't read all the aerodynamics and all of that because i'm interested in technical stuff the, the thing i talked about in the video about how to choose your bike frame that's what i'm interested in so i scroll down look here technical specifications then before I got to the actual technical stuff, something caught my eye. I'm not going to load the page here. I do have it already loaded in a tab, but I'm going to show you. This is the way it looks when you come down here on the bottom of the bike. It says manual downloads. Now, most people are not going to come here when you're looking for a bike, but that's the place I go because that's where you get a lot of the, they got weight limits and terrain conditions. So here it is, a $13,000 bike is already being limited. OK, I'm going to keep going. I didn't go into that. You can check it out if you're that interested. But what, what caught my eye was the fact that they actually have something called trainer usage addendum to the bicycle owner's manual. Indoor trainer. So I loaded it. It's on this tab. I'm going to click on this tab. And this is it. I'm see if I can make it bigger. So let me let me see. View. Zoom in. There we go. Let me just use the shortcut here. I'm making this really big so you guys can see it now. You're spending a whopping $13,250 for a bicycle. And Specialize is telling you there are lots of different trainer types available, including wind trainers, magnetic trainers, fluid trainers. Yeah, Captain Obvious. Trainers that attach directly to the bicycle, rollers, and others. Depending on the trainer type and use, it may potentially apply 
unusual forces on your bicycle. It may, your trainer may wear parts. I mean, other than tires, I don't know what parts they're talking about. And or weaken or damage your bicycle. Then it say, use a trainer at your own risk. Wow. Okay. This is especially true for composite or carbon fiber bicycles rigidly attached to the trainer. Improperly mounting your bicycle in a trainer or using an incompatible trainer may also damage it. I mean, what's a compatible trainer? Come on, give me a break. Always follow the trainer's manufacturer's instructions and consider using an old bike with a metal frame and components you're not using on the road. This is what I call a cop out. I mean, it's a it's a trainer. You're going to put the skewer on there, clip it in place. You know, some of the trainers come with their own skewers that you slide out and put in so you don't mess up your nice skewers. Other than that, I mean, it's like they're trying to cover themselves. But it's kind of a weak disclaimer here. Then they say, if you use your specialized bicycle on any type of trainer, your authorized specialized retailer should conduct a periodic safety inspection. When you take your bicycle off the trainer and back out on the road, always conduct a mechanical safety check and make sure nothing is loose. Example, wheels are correctly secured. So what are they trying to do here? I mean, come on, man. What are we, two-year-olds? How are you going to the, the back the bike? Are you telling me to use it at your own risk? Then they're saying, warning, Specialized does not design or test bicycles for trainer use. Maybe they should. For $13,000, maybe you should. Using your specialized bicycle on a trainer may compromise the safety of the bicycle or may void your warranty. That's the part I wanted to pay attention to. There's a reason they're saying may. Because they know they can't say will. You know, what's the point of this? You, you selling this bike for 13 grand and I can't put it on a trainer? I mean, come on. Really? So anyway, I went ahead and moved on. I figured out, you know, I didn't ask the guy about it when I called because he's not, the person on the phone is not making policy. So anyway, I, I scrolled further down and what I liked about the site was anything you clicked on like stem length, saddle width right here. When you when you come and select the, pro, the, 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 the thing you're looking for like stack, look, look at the arrow. I like that. It tells you how they're actually measuring stack. Top tube horizontal. It shows you how... You can see that that bike is sloping. So when they measured on the horizontal line, and horizontal means you got to look at this red line in reference to here. Let me come back to it. That, that's how you measure your length of your top tube. So let's get into it. If I were to buy a bike like this, since I know I already know my size is a 56, here's my dilemma. A 56 frame and i called specialized they say they measure the sizes center to center meaning center of the bottom bracket to here not top okay which is what i use so i scroll over here a 56 has a top tube length of only 562 well the bike i currently use let's use the call nago because that's not a custom bike the call nago is a 58.5 Okay, that's how much of a difference it is. So when I was talking to the guy on the phone, he said, yeah, you could probably ride a 61. Yeah, I could ride a 65, but I don't want to. You know, why should I buy a, a bigger bike than fits me because you chose to make limited sizes? For that kind of money, the bike needs to fit me and needs to be ideal for any kind of money. So that was the first thing I told him. And he said, well, you know, for a guy like you, uh, you know, with your, I gave him my inseam and everything. He said, yeah, you could probably do a 58. I said, I know I could do a 58, but 56 is my optimal size. So a 58 would be close. It would be within four millimeters of what my Colnago is. So it's closer. So I could make that up with the stem and so forth. And then plus it has a, the crank length I needed. So they're 58 had the length of crank and everything closer. Now, as I started to go down, I had him on the phone because I already knew. I said, hey, I got a problem with the seat angle. I won't be able to get my saddle back far enough, even with a setback seat post. I said, because I can't exceed 73 degrees. So can you make me the 58 you're recommending in a 73? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't do that. And I started to laugh. I said, do you understand that I'm about the same height as Peter Sagan? 
I said, I, I've looked at him. Maybe his femur is shorter than mine or whatever. I said, but somehow you all got him on a 56. And he's about almost six foot two. How did you do that? Oh, well, his bike was made for him. I said, oh, okay. So that's what they're doing. They're pushing these custom bikes and then they're forcing you. So you really have to, and the reason I decided to do this today, you really have to look at this. This is the limitation. This is what uh, uh, Jose San uh, Santiago is dealing with. Because uh, Trek, for example, even displayed the wrong bike on their site, the wrong model, and had different specs in, in a link of a video that Jose sent me. But the point I'm trying to make is, you can have all the money in the world. Why would you buy this bike when this is my size? Seat tube angle is too aggressive. I would never fit it. Even if they were to give me that bike free, I would just turn around and sell it to somebody, somebody else who had a shorter femur that could fit it. I can't fit this. So I asked him, how did you guys decide to do the seat angle at 73.5? He couldn't tell me. You know, I'm sure he wasn't privy to the decision making. I said, well, why would you make a big bike with an aggressive seat tube angle? You only you only dealing with a limited market then, because most tall guys have long femurs generally. Oh, it's oh it's fifty fifty. So I said maybe you should have a fifty six with seventy three point five and a fifty six with seventy two point five. That's the point I'm trying to make. So it doesn't really matter. These are the kind of challenges you're facing. And look here, the stem here is too short for me. I couldn't ride the, the size, my size in their bike. I'd have to go up here. I would have to swap this at the dealer because you'd have to use a dealer. I would have to swap this stem length to get the right one I needed. But I would have to use a 58 at a minimum, two centimeters higher than the frame I ride and the frame they gave their ambassador to ride. So I told him, your ambassador is about my height and you're doing the wrong bikes for us. You know, so everything about it just seemed to be off. It's a beautiful bike. Everything about the bike I like and everything. But gosh, I can't ride their bike. I would need a custom bike. So at 13 grand, the bike is useless to me. I just wanted to point that out in this video. So when you're looking at these bikes, do not just go and buy them. Just start here. Seat angle. Make sure if you don't know, get a fit. So that the, the fitter can tell you what your maximum angle is on any frame you buy that was the point i wanted to make so right now for me to ride their bikes out of the i would have to go up from a 56 to a 61 that's almost two inches higher that's like two shoe sizes just to have an angle that i can get my saddle without jamming it all the way and still needing more room even with a setback seat post he couldn't tell me what the setback was on this because it has a setback. You can tell from going through the middle of the seat post here. That looks like maybe 2.5 or 2 centimeter, I'm guessing. But he could not even tell me that. You know, and those are the things you would need to find out, even if you were if I were to consider doing that. But why would I spend 13 grand grand on a bike that does not fit me? That's like spending money on a shoe that doesn't fit your feet. So I was like, come on, you know. You know, I would buy a pair of shoes that doesn't fit me. It just didn't make sense. So I just I talked to him and explained what why I was calling and what I was planning on doing. I explained to him that I would be making this video to help people out there make choices. It's a beautiful bike. I mean, it's beautiful. I, I just can't ride it. And they don't do customs. Well, you know, Calfee does customs. So what's the deal? If you're not going to do customs, then you better give us more choices. A 56 should come in with shallower angles as well. That's the point I'm trying to make. So I hope this will help some of you out there. Just be careful. Even if this bike was 300 bucks, I would pass it up. It, I can't fit it. I would have to buy too big of a bike to fit it. You know, and it's just, it's not worth the headache. So with that. Make sure you uh, are very selective when you're buying components, parts, saddles, all that kind of stuff. They look beautiful and everything, but you see these kind of seat posts they're coming with? You're stuck with what they make. So you have to ask them, this seat post that comes with the bike, what kind of setback is on there? Because you're not going to be able to go after market. You only can buy from them. And it's better to know up front so they can send you the one with the most setback that you might need. That's very important. So I'm going to wrap it up there. I just want to do this to help you guys out there. 
Uh, there are a lot of bikes, and it's not just specialized. Trek, all of them got the same problems. They are some of them use, like I told you, the, the, they use the wrong picture, and then you go out there and you, you're not sure what you're seeing versus what you're ordering. So just be very careful because even some of the shops may not specifically know. So you need to know before you buy. Beautiful bike, just not for me. So unless they were going to make something custom, plus the price, you know, for this kind of money here, I shouldn't be hedging. So. I will stop there and go ahead and make sure you get your case in because the weekend's coming up. Stay active. Keep those doctors fired.